Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of React and Node.js project, we will learn how we can integrate API for add product. In recent two videos, we created the API for add product and we created the UI for add product, right? And now we will uh, integrate our front end with the back end with the help of API. So first of all, we will get user ID from local storage so that uh, we can send that user ID. Uh, inside a uh, with the api right so now you may have a question why we need to send the user id with uh, with api so here you can see that in our api payload uh, in add product api payload we have to send name price category and company of the product and one more field which is the user id so why we need to send that user id because whenever we will add these product in our database we have to know that which product is added by the which users right so that's why we must have to uh, just uh, send this user id to the api so after that we will call that api for product detail and we will get the result and we'll test our test our complete flow this is my instagram account if you want to follow me there then you can follow uh, on my instagram also so now let's start with the first point on the uh, function click I just want to get the user ID first so let me take here a const user ID and uh, from where we can get it from local storage dot get item and here we can put here uh, user and now you will find that we will get lots of user data inside a string format so let's check it step by step so now whenever I will just click on that button you can see that this all details like ID name and email is printing here right so now let's convert it in the JSON format so just simply use here JSON dot string and uh, after that what we can do here we can just check that again that data is working fine or not all right so guys actually i just need to just parse it i don't need to uh, create it again in the stringify because this is already in the stringify format so <clears throat> now we have data in a uh, object format so now let's simply put here dot underscore id and now we have the exact id inside our constant you can see that right so after that let's call the uh, fetch the api and let me take here result literal and uh, let's use here fetch inside fetch we have to pass the api url which is uh, we can get from the local store uh, we can get from the postman and we have to add second parameter also because here we have to add some other parameters like uh, method body and header and all so our method will be post after that uh, body and in body we have to send the name price category company with the user id also so let me add here user id and we cannot send this json data we have to just convert it inside the uh, string format so let me add here a uh, json.stringify function and at the last we have to add, add here headers also and header will be content type and uh, our type will be in the json format so we can simply put here application json and after that uh, in result we will just get a promise so to to resolve it we can use here async function and we have to use here await keyword and again in result we have uh, we don't have still readable format this is basically a uh, uh, read stream data so to convert to the uh, read stream to json we have to just use here dot json method so let me apply it result equal to result dot json 
and uh, it will again return a promise so i have to just put here await and at the last we can console th this result and let's print here and now let's see are we just getting everything is fine or is there some error or something so let's say our uh, product name is mm, 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 u10 let's say price is 1000 category is again mobile and let's say company name is view so whenever i will just click on here you can see that we are getting the data inside console let's check the network request here we can see that this is a post request this is a url payload and result everything is working fine so at the last let's check the database here we can see that a uh, u10 data is already entered here so with that way we can integrate the api so in next video we will uh, provide the validations uh, with this form in the back end and the front end so that data should be valid valid because if i just put here blank field still it will work so it should not be like this so in next part we will uh, apply the validations and in up upcoming parts we will add uh, product api update product api product list api and lots of more so thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel and uh, if you have any query you can ask me in the comment box also thank you so much